you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we'll be going over the top 10 most overpowered power of cards that I think you need right now in this game. So I did update my list from a few weeks ago. This list is a lot better with the new cards that have come out. Now, I have... A few cards that came off only because of longevity. So if they were off, they're not because they're not good. It's that I'm really big on longevity in this game because I know a lot of people are no money spent and a lot of people like to not waste coins. So it'd be dumb for me to recommend, let's say, go power up Steve Young right now. But meanwhile, he's not going to be the top quarterback for that long. So he's on that list. But other guys, let's say like Marcus Allen, for instance, he's always been on this list. But right now, with Bow out, Dalvin Cook out, and new running backs come out soon, will it be that smart to upgrade Marcus Allen considering he was the best running back of the day of the launch? I don't think he'll be the best running back for that much longer. He's not already, but he won't be that overpowered for much longer in comparison to upgraded defensive players and new running backs come out. So for that reason, he's off this list because powering up now probably a waste of coins because within a week or two, will probably be overshadowed by new running backs. So he's off this list. It's more about guys that can still play for the bulk of the year on your team and that the power will be more worthwhile. But before we get into all that, guys, if you are new to the channel, go down below, smack the sub button. We're closing on 8K. We're, five, we're 500 away. So smack everyone watching the video. Trust me, you won't regret it. Go hit the sub button, turn on the noti bell, and also comment down below anyone you think that should be on this list that wasn't, and I'll update this list in like a week or two. So just drop it down below. I always come back to these comments for videos like this. And if you haven't already, drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to 250 likes, guys. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you're a loyal supporter, and I know I have more than 250 of you guys watching that are loyal, drop a like on this video. Now, guys, let's get into this video. So, whew, that was a mouthful. You guys know how I like to start these videos through the auction block. It's always the easiest way to go about everything. So, number not, number 10. Let me count these real quick because I messed up my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So number 10 is going to be a outside linebacker. Now, this outside linebacker is probably higher on the list if it wasn't for the fact that I want to say that he's good now, but I, again, he's going to be overshadowed pretty soon because typically if the card is good now, he won't be good in like a month and that means he won't get a card for quite a while. So, sorry, this, this actually took a really long time to find this card for some reason. Von Miller. So, Von Miller powered up is only good because of this card right here. So, a lot of you guys are going to have this card for free. So, right now, if you power him up, he'll be the best outside linebacker in the game. But the issue with him is, is that he won't be long-term, in my opinion. Because, think about it this way. If Mac has an 88, right? And Von Miller has a 91. Right now, Von Miller is better. But Mac will get the next upgrade, most likely. Von Miller just got an upgrade, so he won't get one for probably a while. So, for that reason, I think that Von Miller's not long long term he is long term because he is von miller but i think in the near future the better car will probably be mac because von miller already got his upgrade so if you're building for the future probably more efficient just power up mac but the point here is that in my opinion von miller is the best right now so you can still power up because he is going to get upgrades all year but we know there's going to be a, a period of time between like september october november where there's going to be better outside linebackers than him at that position but you, if you already have him powered up and everything it's not really going to matter next on the list is going to be a right end you guys already know aaron donald now aaron donald moved down my list because right now he's not really the best he, he plays good but he's gonna get an upgrade right in the near future so that is why I don't bother because like, I know Aaron Donald's going to be my right end all year. I don't really mind that. So Aaron Donald is a beast powered up. Now, I know he's going to be my right end all year. Like he's locked in, in my opinion, unless there's some crazy uh, legend that I can get. So I like guys that I know can be locked in on my team all year. Those guys are going to stay on the list because it's the most efficient way to spend your coins, right? It would be dumb if you if you powered up like Reggie White, right? Oh, I got the Marks Lawrence came out. Powers down Reggie White gets Lawrence. Oh, wait, this new guy came out. Strahan on a new upgrade. Let's get him. You keep losing coins because you're powering down, powering down, losing half your coins. So Aaron Donald being locked in all year is a huge advantage for anyone's team. So that is why I like him because I know I'll keep him there all year. And next on the list is a guy that I don't know if you'll keep him. This is a preference, right? This guy's a preference here because obviously you could keep him all year, but you don't really have to. But he is overpowered right now. He is a great quarterback. He really is. Patrick Mahomes. If you power this card up onto this card, he'd be a beast. He's going to be a 91 overall. The only reason I haven't powered him up yet is because then you lose all the abilities that come with him and you have to redo him. If you're going to keep him all year, it's more worthwhile to pick your own abilities. But right now, there is better quarterbacks, and there will be in the future. But we know Mahomes being the cover athlete and being in a stud in real life is going to get tons of upgrades this year. So, upgrade. He's going to get tons of upgrades this year. So, that is why I think he'd be an awesome guy to power up. You know what? Yeah, he's going to show him a ton of love being the cover athlete. He's going to be getting tons of cards. So, it's on you guys if you like him. I love Mahomes, but the thing is, with the way this game plays, I really want an escape artist QB. So, I'm waiting for Vic. I don't care. I haven't even gotten young. I'm just waiting for Vic. Now, next on this list is actually another quarterback that I just mentioned a second ago, Steve Young. So Steve Young, the only reason he's not higher 
is because I don't think he's a long-term quarterback on the Madden. I think he's a right now. And for the next month, he's gonna be one of the most overpowered mobile quarterbacks. But think about it, 81 speed for a mobile quarterback in most Madden is typically low. So what that tells me is that he's like our, our, he's like the, the bait, right? Like, oh wow guys, here, take it. The first mobile quarterback, everyone went crazy, he's overpriced. But then in a few weeks, they're gonna be like, start releasing more, they already released Luck. They released Watson. They probably end up releasing a Vic soon, a Cunningham, a Cole Pepper, a McNabb. They release something. So when those are released, every year they drop the first wave of mobile quarterbacks like this, like 81 speed, 82 speed. Everyone goes crazy, and then Vic drops, and everyone sells them. So that's why I know that Vic. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna pick Vic or Steve Young, most people are gonna pick Vic. So for that reason is why Steve Young won't be long term in my team because I will have a Vic at some point. So Mahomes and Steve Young are more preference. Now Steve Young right now has Escape Artist, which is like one of the glitchiest cams in the game, which is like you're super fast in the backfield when you're running. So that is why he's overpowered right now. Your next on this list is the guy that actually isn't out yet. So the new Mutt 10 player. I leave this on the list every week because typically whatever new Mutt 10 player is going to be one of the best power-ups in the game. If you don't know what I mean by that, coming over to, well, I'm not going to show you guys because I'll give one of my things away. But if you look at the new cards like Bo Jackson and you look at uh, Patrick Willis, Bo Jackson and Patrick Willis are two of the most overpowered power-up cards in the game because they can be powered up since they are 91 overall limited times. You can power them up to 89 overalls. 89 overalls is one of the best cards in the game right now. One of the highest overalls you can even get in the game for a short training of like 100k. So 100k training for an 89 overall, that that makes sense, right? Because 89 overalls go for like 200k. So especially those. So typically every week they drop a mutt 10 on Friday, and that is going to be the best card you want to add. Now next on the list is going to be Bo Jackson actually. So I can show you guys here what I mean. So stay tuned for one of those mutt 10 players. I like to I pick up almost every one. That's that's my plan at least. So obviously Bo Jackson is right here. The only reason I wouldn't put him higher on the list is because although when you power him up, he's an 89 overall running back, the fastest running back in the game when you power him up to 89. The only issue is that you can't power him up beyond them with a limited time card. You could wait 10 weeks, right? So if you really like a card, like you know you're gonna pick him, because remember the Mutt 10 promo does guarantee you in 10 weeks one free fantasy pack where you can pick any of them. So remember that you're gonna want to probably power up the guy that you plan to take from that pack so you can maximize his abilities. So I'd highly recommend, like, if you know you're taking Bo, upgrade Bo. If you know you're taking Patrick Willis, upgrade Patrick Willis. But some of them are so good standalone, doesn't matter if you're not going to upgrade them. They're still great cards to have on your team. Like, Bo Jackson, 89 overall running back, is still one of the best, if not the best, running back besides his higher card in the game. But the only reason I haven't taken him is because I have Marks Allen powered up. So I wouldn't break the bank for him if you don't have a running back ready. Not to mention, I think there's going to be Zeke's, Saquon's, Le'Veon Bell's, David Johnson, McCaffrey's, Barry Sanders, LaDainian Thomas. There's going to be new running backs coming out, so I'm kind of hesitant to upgrade to a new running back. Now, Next on this list is the guy that isn't better than most of these guys, but he's going to be a long-term option on most teams, in my opinion. Like, I think he's going to be a long-term option. He always is. In the last year, he's been one. He's one of the fastest tight ends in the game. So, George Kittle right here. He might be an 87 overall theme builder, but guys, this card is crazy good for me. 82 speed at tight end. You don't understand, like, the advantage that gives you, although he might seem kind of slow in comparison to other cards. At tight end, he's matched up on linebackers. He's matched up on no one. You find him in open spaces. So, in 82 speed, he makes great plays for me. And on top of that, he can run block. And people don't realize, like, oh, his catching is like okay, 86 catch, 81 spec catch. It's not about that. And the route running doesn't matter either, because typically he's on linebacker, so the cover stats aren't great. The running block, the run block is what matters. He's pretty much like if you put an extra tackle on the field, right? So get maximized run block, which is huge in a run heavy game. Not to mention, he's also fast. So when he doesn't run block, he can burn down the seam, burn on out routes. He's very, very useful. And I think he's gonna be a long term option because he will be the fastest tight end in the game, besides Evan Ingram, but Evan Ingram won't be as good as George Kittle in real life. So he won't get as many good cards. Now, next on this list is another outside linebacker, like I said, that will be better than Von Miller soon because I know he's gonna get an upgrade. And that is Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack is a card that you definitely wanna be upgrading. I think he's gonna be end game for me at outside linebacker. I plan to lock in him with another guy and then Donald that end. I kinda have my defense kinda locked up for the year once I pile them all up. So Von Miller is better right now, but they're not too far apart. Like, okay, well, if you compare them here, they're, they're, they're pretty they're not too far apart in essence this von miller and this mac and not to mention mac will probably get either a most feared card a mutt hero card or something in the near future maybe a kickoff card so i, I anticipate that so when that happens i will want to power up mac so i'm waiting for that now next on this list is lawrence taylor this guy is going to be on anyone i think everyone should have this guy on their team for the year year end like i'm gonna have him from today to the day i'm preparing for madden 21 lawrence taylor is one of the best options to power up not just because you can get him to this card because you can power him up to his 88 overall all the way up to his 88 overall and have one of the best outside linebackers so if you can't afford the full lawrence taylor you power up lawrence taylor this one right here on the left for like what 80k training 80k and you get an 88 overall outside linebacker that blows away your Clowney clown any other outside linebacker in the game so if you can't afford the full and get him but if not remember lawrence taylor is a guy that you're going to maximize coins on because you will have him all year in my opinion he's always going to be the most 
dominant outside linebacker. Look at him. Power moves in 90. Finesse moves in 88. You put chems on him, he breaks the threshold for both. His block sheds in 86. His speed's in 85. You put Sprinter or John Madden on this car, this car's gonna be unreal. I love my Lawrence Taylor. He gets like five sacks a game. I'm not even kidding. It is well worth the seven X factor on this guy. He gets the sack total every game. Unless they quit early. You wanna want a Lawrence Taylor all year. So I highly recommend you start you start it now because why wait? Trust me, you won't regret well, excuse me, you won't regret having Lawrence Taylor on your team. Now, first on the list, right? Is another Mutt 10 card because Mutt 10 cards are overpowered. 49ers, middle linebacker, Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis. This card plays insane. So I had most people have Bobby Wagner or Shazier as the two linebackers. So I replaced Wagner with Willis. It was just a no-brainer. Wagner sold for 170, right? Willis, I got for like 100 k so I saved 70k there. Willis has an 85 speed, 85 excel, 83 strength, 86 tackle, 86 play rec, 84 block shit, 85 power move, and 8 and 73 zone. Now, if you look up this, watch this. If you compare him to his full card, come on, he's deep down there, isn't he? Oh, I have it on power up. Compare him to his full card, which I will go to right here. Patrick Willis goes for like 1.8 million coins, I think, total. And if you compare them, they're not far apart. They're off by one speed, one excel, one strength, three tackle, two play rec. They're helped by two blocks. She had five power move and I mean five hit power and one zone. So besides the hit power, everything's almost like close to tied. For a hundred K, this definitely blows away getting this card for a million something coins, almost two million coins. So 89 overall guys, middle linebacker. Him with Shay, even as your middle linebacker, your first middle linebacker, he's insane. I love him as a backup. Him and Shay's ear locked down the middle. They force fumbles left and right. Not to mention he's so fast. He's tall. 85 speed for a linebacker with Shay's ear 86 speed. They literally lock down the middle. And the beauty of it is that you can use your anyone, right? So typically, if Shazier was blitzing or something, I'd be like, damn, I got to switch the play. I don't want to use Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner was way too slow to use or anything with. But now I got both. So now it's whatever. Whoever I can take at that time, I'll gladly take. Trust me, guys, you won't regret it. And if you do end up taking Patrick Willis out of the fantasy pack in 10 weeks, you will have him fully powered up and have the best middle linebacker in the game, guys. That is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this list helped you guys. If it did, comment down below. I missed anyone and if it did if you did help you drop a like if you made it this far to the video drop a like on the video get this video to 250 likes and if you haven't already turn on the noti bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video hit the sub button to stay tuned for all cool videos just like this that can help you guys and that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace